फ्रेंड्स आई एम ललिता एंड हार्टी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वी पैकस टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू फाइंड आउट क्यूब रूट ऑफ नॉन परफेक्ट क्यूब नंबर्स मैनी ऑफ अस नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट क्यूब रूट ऑफ परफेक्ट क्यूब नंबर्स बट मैनी ऑफ अस डोंट नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट क्यूब रूट ऑफ नॉन परफेक्ट नंबर्स आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अ वेरी इजी ट्रिक टू फाइंड आउट क्यूब रूट ऑफ नॉन परफेक्ट क्यूब नंबर्स to learn this concept we must watch this video till end so let us start the amazing trick without wasting any more time find out the cube root of 216 and 343 since 216 is a perfect cube number so its cube root is 6 343 is also perfect cube number so its cube root is 7 now we will proceed for non perfect cube roots find out the non perfect cube root of 132 you must listen carefully and read the step carefully and try to understand step 1 find the perfect cube part first we have to find out the cube root of perfect cube between which 132 falls at this point we find that 132 falls between 125 that is a cube of 5 and 216 that is a cube of 6 132 is more closer to 125 than 216 so we will pick up 125 that is cube of 5 now what is the next step let us see step 2 finding the decimal part of cube root find the difference of 132 and 125 that is 7 so 132 minus 125 is equal to 7 and 7 should be multiplied by 5 that is a perfect uh, perfect cube root of 125 it should be divided by 3 times 125 that is perfect cube number of 5 let us bring it to the lowest term so 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 and 5 fives are 25 now 7 ones are 7 25 threes are 75 if you divide 7 by 75 it will become 0.09 so your answer will become 5.09 add the decimal number to the perfect cube root that is 0.0925 it will become 5.09 thus the cube root of 132 is 5.09 now the actual cube root will not be 5.09 but this is an approximation method and the results will always be correct to only first decimal place let us take another example find out the cube root of 259 Let us see where two hundred fifty nine falls. Two hundred fifty nine is very close to two hundred sixteen. That is a cube of six. So find the difference between two hundred fifty nine and two hundred sixteen. That is forty three. And forty three should be multiplied by actual cube root of two hundred sixteen. That is six. And it should be divided by three times two hundred sixteen. That is a cube of six. Let us bring it to the lowest term. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Two ones are two. Two ones are two. Zero. Two eights are sixteen. So you have to divide now forty three by one hundred. Eight. So, if you divide forty-three by one hundred eight, it will become zero point three seven nine, and add it to 
six. So your answer will become six point three seven nine. Let us take another example. Three hundred twelve. Since three hundred twelve is more closer to three hundred forty three, I think that is a cube of seven. Find the difference between three hundred forty three and three hundred twelve. That is thirty one. We have taken the bigger one. So here we have to subtract. So multiply thirty one the difference by the perfect cube root of three hundred forty three. That is seven, and it should be divided by three times three hundred forty three. That is a Perfect cube number of seven. Bring it to the lowest term. Seven ones are seven. Seven fours are twenty-eight, and uh, six remainder. Then seven nines are sixty-three. So thirty-one here. Three nines are twenty-seven. Two carry. Three fours are twelve plus two. Forty. So one hundred forty-seven divide thirty-one by one hundred forty-seven, you will get zero point two one. Here we have picked up the bigger cube number, so you have to subtract. So you have to subtract zero point two one from seven. You will get the answer six point seven nine. Let us take another example. Find the cube root of seven hundred forty-five. Since seven hundred forty-five falls in between five hundred twelve and seven hundred twenty-nine, we will pick up seven hundred twenty-nine. Find the difference between seven hundred forty-five and seven hundred twenty-nine. That is sixteen. Multiply sixteen by nine. That is a perfect cube root of seven hundred twenty-nine. It should be divided by three times seven hundred twenty-nine. That is a perfect cube of nine. Bring it to the lowest term. Nine ones are nine. Nine eights are seventy-two, and nine ones are nine. So sixteen ones are sixteen. Divide by three ones are three. Three eights are twenty-four. So, if sixteen should be divided by two hundred forty-three, you will get zero point zero six. Add it to the nine, and your answer will become nine point zero six. Let us take another example. Find the cube root of one thousand three hundred fifty-one. Since it falls in between one thousand three hundred thirty-one and One thousand seven hundred twenty-eight. They are the cube of eleven and twelve. So since one thousand three hundred fifty-one is more closer to one thousand three hundred thirty-one, so we will pick up one thousand three hundred thirty-one. It should be subtracted from one thousand three hundred fifty-one. Your difference is twenty, and twenty should be multiplied by eleven. That is the perfect cube root of one thousand three hundred thirty-one. It should be divided by three times one thousand three hundred thirty-one. That is a cube, perfect cube of eleven. Bring it to the lowest term. Eleven ones are eleven. Eleven ones are eleven. Remainder two twenty-three. Eleven twos are twenty-two. Remainder one, so it will become eleven. Eleven ones are eleven. So you have to divide twenty by Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Three ones are three by three hundred sixty-three. After dividing, you will get it becomes zero point zero five. Add it to eleven. That is a perfect cube root of one thousand three hundred thirty-one, and your answer will become eleven point zero five. I hope you must have understood this concept with five examples. There is a homework for you. Find the cube root of hundred, four hundred twenty-five, five hundred, and seven hundred fifty. Thanks for watching the video.
if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe the channel and if you are new viewers please like the video and share thank you